We're back with Jason Kennedy, and our next guest is an Emmy Award-winning comedian and TV host. She does it all. She's an actress, she's an author, a former electrical engineer. Please welcome the one and only Ronnie Love. Hey, everybody. Oh, my family. No, you didn't know I was an engineer. I have an engineering degree. What did you do? I was an engineer for eight years for Xerox many moons ago. What? And then I became a comedian. I got my first deal. I went to my boss, and we were having a layoff that day. I said, save somebody else's job and, um, you know, lay me off. Okay. So I could save somebody's job, and I haven't looked back since. Look at that. That's yeah. a great story. I thought yeah. that was a joke. I no. thought Lonnie got in there and wrote it, because she's family here. <laughs> she's like, she's in the television. Nice. <laughs> yeah. NASA, uh, your show, Is It Cake, where you're a judge on, do you know that this is blowing up everywhere? It says it's like the top, top most globally watched show. Who would have thought the dumbest show <laughs> ever. Thank you for saying that. We, we literally just, it, and, and I just want to say, because if you watch it on TV, on the actual screen, it looks like we, like you could tell which one is fake. But where we are, it's a foot away. It's yeah. like, it's a distance. You really cannot tell. And they're so masterful. Yeah, yeah. they had one that was an actual suitcase. And it was like, and it we couldn't tell which one was real or not, you know? And so it just shows you the talent. And I love doing projects where we can celebrate everyday people that have talent. I like and that. And this is the, one of those types of shows. Yeah. So That's it's good, a cake Lonnie. that's great. That's why. <laughs> tell us about the millennials. The millennials is a new cute show. It features four um, up and coming 20 something friends and it's on all black and it's just a little sitcom and it's you know I started out doing sitcoms so I want to go back into doing sitcoms and I play Bernice who is the sister a strange sister of Bernie and we're gonna have a cook-off and I'm staring over your right shoulder at the incredible ladies on the <sighs> reel and uh, what an amazing run you guys had I know oh. you know things always have to come to an end at some Definitely. point or another you guys put everything in to this show My, and the takeaway for you is what you the takeaway is that we are celebrating eight seasons of a great show and we're not done yet because mm -hmm. we're still taping shows they still gonna work me they, <laughs> we canceled but you're still working you know it is. <laughs> it's like oh okay still come to show work. up and let me tell you something this was a historic talk show and the thing is is that we didn't think we were gonna even get eight seasons. Yeah. So this is icing on a cake. It is. Let it be cake. Let it be cake. <laughs> yeah. When you lead with gratitude, I feel like everything opens up definitely, always. Definitely. When are we gonna meet this gentleman over here? Oh. That's Jane. That's Boo Boo. Oh. Come on, Boo Boo. That's Boo Boo. Where'd you guys meet? We met online on Bumble. Okay. And we've been together for four years. He gets on my nerves, but <laughs> hey, this is what happens. What does he do? How do you get on Lonnie Love's nerves? You know what? Because he talks. <laughs> and I had to listen. You didn't tell me that, Jason, when you said get in a relationship, Lonnie. I was single, minding my business. Now I have to listen and I have to be present. So now I'm doing, I'm doing meditation because I have to be present when he's talking these long stories, you know, like, okay, Jay. What is this communication thing in a relationship? My mom it's, says put on your Dumbo ears. You oh, just put is on that the, it? Yes, put on the Dumbo ears. <laughs> See, put your earmuffs on, Jason. Just listen, let them talk. And just nod. So, yes. But no, we're having a wonderful time time and he's a wonderful supporter of me and everything that we do and it's just great to be in a relationship do you want to get years? married wow. no 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 Whoa, like you see what's happening <laughs> you see what's happening to rihanna right now anyway <laughs> <laughs> okay no marriage no kids four years yeah. got it uh, you know what i'm an entertainer you yeah. know that's what i love to do i've been doing this for over 15 years you see we've already went through three projects that i'm on yeah we're about to talk about this next one snoop Excuse me? So dumb, it's criminal. What is the title? <laughs> Anything with Snoop and you is gonna be gold. Let me tell you something. When Snoop called me up, you know, he's like, what's the Dizzy-O, lizzy <laughs> Like that, you know, I was like, Snoop is calling me? And he has this new show, um, and it's talking about where we just sit, watch clips of people doing dumb stuff, and he gets high, and I just sit there, <laughs> and it's the greatest show. I'm serious. It is the greatest, funniest show. Snoop is one of the smartest, most professional men that I have met. But to sit there with my other comedic friends and with Snoop is like a dream come true. And it's starting tomorrow, so everybody can see it Where on Peacock. Where can we watch it? On Peacock. On Peacock. 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 Okay, in the family. Yes. And when I say there's some dumb people in this world, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's criminal. It's criminal. Like, I it's wait. criminal. And it's like having Snoop, because Snoop has always been so real and so authentic 
that he gives his point of view that you just loosen up and say, yeah, you right, Snoop. <laughs> That's just right. So it's just going to be a wonderful show. It's a perfect transition because you always keep it real. So we have a couple of things going on in the entertainment world oh, yeah. that Let's you hear. probably have heard about. We want to get your hot take okay. on this, okay? Oh, okay. When you got the email and heard that Ben and Jen got engaged, what the heck was going through I'm your so mind? I'm so happy. So happy. I said, you know what? I've been sending J-Lo DMs. I said, girl, I can be the flower girl. <laughs> Let me be your flower girl. I want to be a flower girl so bad. I know. I tried to be one at your wedding. You just ignored me. <laughs> Does J-Lo like, ignore you too? Yes. <laughs> J-Lo came on the real. We had a wonderful, you know, J-Lo used to work at the Laugh Factory yeah. when I was an up and coming comic. And when we met on The Real, she said, I remember she was a waitress and I was an up and coming comic. And look at God. She's a millionaire and I'm a thousand now. <laughs> <laughs> it's I okay. Love you got that. a lot of jobs. Yeah. She did that. There is something about that the double back they found one another. I can't get enough of their pictures. You can feel the love. This is her time. You know, they were together 20 years ago. And sometimes, what I love about her story is that it, it's about love and it's telling people not to give up on love, especially women. Women get it right. People want to talk about, oh, she's been married a lot of times, she's been engaged. Do it until you get it right. Yep. That's all life is about, is about love. And you only live once, do it right. And make do what you want to do. So I'm happy for her. You're a preacher, Lonnie. Yeah. Love. <laughs> what about Pete bit. Davidson and Kim? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Nobody no. thought this was real, Lonnie. Think about when it first came out. Everybody was like, no way. She seems like she is madly in love. When I, I asked her, too, I said, your family loves him. How does Pete's family feel about you? And they love her. Uh, first of all, I met both of them. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I was a stand-up. Pete has done stand-up in New York. When I tell you he is a great guy and he's very funny and he's very genuine, I can see why. I think people so busy look at the outside. He's quirky like that. But when I'm tell telling you just a downright, honest-to-goodness, good person, that's why she's falling in love with him. I met Kim. Kim is a very sweet woman. Smart and, and sharp. And she wants yeah. something different. Yeah. She's been through a lot. She's got four kids. She's been through this contentious divorce. She just wants something different. I am not surprised. I was the person. Everybody else was like, this is I was the person that said, you this know is... what? No, that's real. And you for women, I think funny wins a lot. Funny wins over everything. Everything because it's something that's different. And you know what? She is another example of what I'm saying about women as you get older. You can have your family, you can have your kids. Maybe it didn't work out. You can still find love. That's what it's about, about finding love and finding happiness. And that's what you see in her. And that's why people keep following their story. Yeah. Because they want to believe in her. She and Jennifer Lopez are doing it. Lonnie, I know why you're everywhere. Yeah. Because everybody <laughs> loves you. Millennials <laughs> are streaming on All Black and So Dumb It's Criminal premieres on Peacock tomorrow. tomorrow. Lonnie Love, everybody. She's family. Guys, coming up, what snacks did you eat while binge watching Nicole Kidman's new show? It's called Roar. Find out at Show and Snack next. <laughs>